goes forward. Light blinking now. And the two-year-olds, they're away and they're racing. And from the inside, tardily away, you will be the one dropping right out. Think like a winner. And also battle on battler Kimberly Rose, the first to go from toward the outside at your service, up looking for the lead. But battle commander going through with it. Taking a trail behind them now is you, Butte, soon after the start. Over on the rails next is God's Gate. The stable mate of it is travelling out there wider. Divine Impact being closely followed by Spices right now. Going right up along the rail after being last early, you'll be the one. Followed further back behind those, next of all show the way. Giving ground past the bubbles, mean machine back in the field. Over on the rail then, think like a winner, Kimberly Rose and battle on battler. 400 metres left to run though and the race hardened battle commander leads the way. Battle commander about to be joined though by at your service at the top of the straight, given its head. But battle commander had plenty to offer. Battle commander slipped a bit of rain, drew a length and a half, getting right up on the inside as you'll be the one who's had that dream inside run battle commander holding them down the outside is show the way battle commander you'll be the one show the way battle commander battle commander with an edge in fitness as one from you'll be the one terrific run over on the outside is show the way and also finishing on well is divine impact it made up some good ground mean machine behind those then came battle on battler they were followed by god's gate think like a winner spices right kimberly rose past the bubbles Further back in the field then when they'd pulled up, at your service gave nothing on straightening and towards the rear, you butte. Number one is the winner battle commander Craig Staples has led from start to finish, challenged at the top of the home straight by at your service. Battle commander quickly took it off the steel. The horse that was the last to leave from gate one, you will be the one. The numbers here, interim placings are 113, 2 and 9. 113, 2 and 9. Battle Commander leading all of the way in 110, 7, 8 and home in 35, 5, 7. The runner-up, you will be the one, stepped out of the gates very slowly and then was able to push through and found every conceivable rails run you could imagine and has run on into second placing. Good performance and a markedly improved performance. Show the way first up after being deep has attacked the line strongly in the final stages and its stablemate, Divine Impact, has filled in fourth place. God's Gate made no impact on them and uh, at your service was there on the corner and absolutely punctured a lung on straightening when Battle Commander took it off the bridle. The winner is by Rommel out of Weona Lady, Laura Jordan, C. Hobbs, Mrs. M. Vines, A. Carver, J. Ings, J. D. Atherton, Mrs. T. Hughes, Mrs. D. Keynes, D. S. Keynes, and also M. J. Franchini, T. Pack, and A. Tuxford, the owners of this two-year-old, opens up his account today, but had been threatening to win one, came through some very good form reference races for this, prepared by Paul Jordan, bullet staples aboard, and scoring here from, in second place, you will be the one for trainer Luke Fernie, Luke Campbell here, in the saddle by Shalar from you and down the outside show the way by Deucimus from the heart and uh, Stephen Parnham and Neville Parnham combining there. So it's 1.13.29 after the running of the opening event on the card. Race two is at four minutes after one o'clock. Number nine is out Wuhan Warrior as we join Lockie Taylor down in the enclosure with the winning trainer Paul Jordan. And Battle Commander was battle hardened for that race this afternoon. He certainly was, Darren. Battle Commander having his eighth start here this afternoon as a two-year-old. You don't see that too often, but I'm now joined by winning trainer Paul Jordan. Paul, Battle Commander, this horse, he must be really tough behind the scenes. Yeah, he's like you. <laughs> yeah, no, he's really, really tough. I mean, he's a great eater, and uh, uh, and when you get him really fit, you don't have to do a lot with him anyway, so he was off his face this afternoon when we had to grab him for, to come to the races, so we knew that he was on board. He finally drew a good gate here this afternoon. What did you make of the ride from Craig Staples? Did you grow in confidence once he found the front? No, I was pretty confident he'd run a terrific race anyway. He did get uh, put to the sword a bit early in the race with, with the one that sat outside him. And uh, so he didn't get any, he didn't get any uh, easy go through the race. 
today was over 1,200 metres. He looked nice and strong all the way through to the line. What's your next step with him? The Karakata is only in three weeks' time, over 1,200 metres. A size, a couple of weeks after that, over 14. What's next for Battle Commander? It looks like you've planned it for us. Is that the plan, Karakata, then a size? I would think so, you know, because we think he'll be a good miler, you know, like, but, uh, but, you know, that's what I thought. Three weeks of the Karakata play, two weeks of the Cyrus. Be, be perfect, as long as he's pulled up well. Sounds like a plan. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. There's Paul Jordan after the win of Battle Commander, leading all the way to kick things off here at Ascot. Lovely ride from Craig Staples, controlling the, the tempo of the race from out in front from Barrier 4. He made full use of that good draw there, Scott, and from there, he was never getting beat. Well, it's almost a race-to-race -race double, really, because Lisa rode the last winner at uh, Kalgoorlie yesterday, so it's Team Staples and Paul Jordan, Craig Staples, straight to the front, jump and run. That's sort of how we, we know and love them. Um, yeah, for sure. It wasn't always the plan today with a good barrier. It's just that he's had wide barriers, so we've had to keep working. He had a really nice sectional. I got a breather, you know, between the eight and the corner. And, uh, yeah, I've just been getting it really tough, so a good barrier makes a big difference. As much as you were able to get a breather, it was the equal favourite almost on your outside that looked like she was travelling really nicely, but you dropped her off quite quickly. Yeah, I gave him a little bit more rain today because he's always running through the line, but he just seems to have a bit of a flat spot at the top of the straight. I think he's going to be a miler, so, you know, whenever I'm pulling up, he's in with, the, with the winners and running away from them, so I didn't mind giving him a little bit extra before the corner. Three weeks Karakata, but two weeks after that, 1,400 metres of a size, seems like it might be the right timing. Yeah, I hope he can stand up, he's had a few runs, but um, everything he does track work, he's a happy horse and he really enjoys a stable life, so, yeah, I like those ones. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. There's Craig Staples combining with Paul Jordan and Battle Commander to take out the Peters Investments Plate. Think you wild, tag your teeth in my neck. On to the blood and flow. 